Okay, today I'm going to install RSP version 2.3. Uh, went to the uh, SAP Marketplace and pulled that down. And next. Oops. Server puts on the client and st installs on the server. So, uh, client is just the client piece. Okay, so server database. And your IDs, your SA. All right, so this is your admin password. This you cannot change. Your login is always going to be admin. And um, even though it comes up blank when you go to log on to the console. Need that on the quick bar. Okay, let's go ahead and launch this. So again, our admin with our admin password. That settings button there um, that allows you to oops, adjust the server you want to connect to and the port number. Okay, so um, this is again this is your main system overview. We're going to go right into configuration here. General, there's the RSP uh, email I was telling you about. Under accounts, if you want to change your password, approval this adjusts different ways you want to allow the tasks to function based on these actions here. And database. First thing you want to do is browse to the license under SAP and server tools, license, and you want to pull in that text file. And yes to save before we go to the database. Okay. So I'm going to utilize my demo database. Everything looks good there. We'll change this to our demo. Channels. Okay. I do want to have email. Now, for those of you using Gmail, SMTP dot Gmail. Whoops. SMP Gmail dot com. The port is 25 right here though. This needs to be TSL. If you leave it blank and you test that connection, it's still going to let you um, give you a, a, a good return, but it will fail when you do try to send, have it send an email. So I just utilize the same email address here. We've already got that there. I go with 20 megs. Test it. Successful. And some of you may see, okay, we're good there. Go to the channel here. So this needs to be an S user that has download privileges. Once you get that there, you have the ability to test it. And this will allow for you to pull down patches uh, as well as uh, the tasks when we get to that point. Yeah, let's take okay, so that's a successful. Next, we're going to move on to, I want to save those. Software update. Again, the S user. And let's see. All those actions look good. I'm going to save that. I'm not going to put anything into here for now. So now if we go to our overview and go to software, as you see also, we've, we're green on all these now that we've populated those back over here under configuration. And we'll kick this off. This will start pulling in tasks. And the first time this pulls the uh, tasks down, you get approximately 30 from uh, what I've seen on the several that we've done with our clients. So that uh, then we'll kind of go through those. There's some key ones that uh, we've activated and left active versus those we put uh, uh, refused or tested, got the information back we needed, and then uh, rejected them. Okay, so we got 29 new tasks and one update. So. 
and finish that out. So from there we can go over to our tasks and as you'll see we've got 31 and it actually throws a few right into the active here. Um, these have a couple things. This is a retrieval task that, based on what we just did. So that can be set to run. If you go in and view that, uh, what you're going to see is some information about it when it was publicated. Then we go over here to the schedule and it tells you when this is going to run hourly. Uh, essentially every six hours is when this will take, uh, we'll go out and look to see if there's any updates from SAP. And then the communication here is the default is that RSP email I set up. Now you have the ability to go with custom and it allows you to add some other ones in here. So you may want to maybe have it go to the RSP or if it's a couple that are maybe more critical you could stick in another address that alerts an individual specific or another group which um, then you've got that uh, good feedback and response from the RSP so that you can keep up on that proactive um, coverage and monitoring your, your clients systems. So as those emails came in, or excuse me, as the uh, those events came in, um, it was sh coming up with emails. As you can see, it's coming into the RSP from the RSP. This just gives you a little bit of information about what that is. In this case, the type of uh, net, the task name, and then you'll see down here. It's uh, this is the, s the server name, installation number, and so forth. So it gives you a little bit of detail. So then you can uh, set up. Um, say your Outlook if you're using that to do some type of filtering with the different clients you, you'll have so that those will when they come into the inbox then they'll filter into specific client email addresses uh, excuse me uh, boxes for your clients so alright so just gives you an idea of what's what we've got going on here so back into the general if this is one you wanted to keep in this case this one was under the task it automatically makes them active if you deactivate it it's going to go into this box if you reject it it goes down to here so back under the ones that came in there's a combination of tasks um, ranging from uh, SAP notes to things such as a reliability check in this case health evaluating the business one to know if there's any issues these are all very, this is one I like to use here, so I'm going to approve that. And I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then once I've got those active ones in there, because again, these are on timers, these are all going to be set and they're going to take off. This one's going to run this Wednesday. Uh, it's going to run Wednesdays. This is when it originally was set up. Um, it's going to run about this time. So, on a daily basis. Alright, so, in short, that was the key I wanted to cover today. Um, the main factor there was that um, this new version does provide you to run with Gmail. Again, those uh, under the channels, email, again, this is the information you want to have there for that to function correctly. And it did. I got those emails in. I just showed you a minute ago. So um, that's all I have. Thanks much and have a great day.